We're going to take a quick look at using playlists within YouTube. You can build playlists of videos already made. Maybe there's playlists that you want to share with your students or playlists that you want to create for yourself of things to come back and watch. Uh, over here on the left hand side is where you will see some of the playlists that you have done. So in my third grade class, the last one, they were big into the movie Moana. So there'd be times throughout the day that we would have Moana um, YouTube videos. They're really just for the music to be played in the background. So I went through YouTube and collected some of the songs into a playlist. That way on my smart board, I could start you know, at the beginning of one of these and it would just kind of play through and it would only play through these videos in um, on, on YouTube. To create a playlist, it's as simple as you know starting on a video that you're looking for. So I'm going to look for rounding rap when I would teach my third graders. Finding some of these rap songs that were made for rounding were helpful. So I can find the video that I want, the three little dots over here, save to playlist. And I actually don't have a playlist created for rounding raps, so I can just click create new. If, it's, if I want to add to an existing playlist, I can simply just check the box next to it. If I'd like to create a new playlist, I would just click create playlist, rounding wrap, create, and that video has now been added. I can kind of go down through here the same and just click the ones that I want, tell it to go there, and it, if this wasn't down here, you'd see where it is saved to. So I'm good to go. I can come back over here to my rounding wrap playlist and I see that I have my two rounding wraps. Maybe I share this with my students, my playlist, or maybe I just use it in class and I just know that I have these two ready to go so I don't have to go searching for them later on. There are multiple different ways you can use playlists, but that's how you find the ones that you've already created and also how you add to them.